Let's take a look at this Keurig coffee maker. You'll see it takes the pods as well as drip coffee filters. Just taking a look at some of the marketing language in the box, it is the K-Duo Essentials coffee maker. It uses ground coffee or K-cup pods, multiple brew sizes, 8, 10, and 12 cups or 8, 10, and 12 ounces, 60 ounce single reservoir, which is very big, and then the pot itself can hold 12 cups of coffee. Let's break the tape open. I'm expecting a lot of styrofoam in here that which will help protect it when it's shipped. Well, first, there's a nice little brochure here. Keurig, let's get brewing. Start guide. They even branded the cardboard. That's pretty impressive. All right, it's all packed nicely in there. Things are falling down. The thing that fell is actually a little scooper that it comes with to help you measure the coffee. I didn't know it came with that, so that's a nice little bonus. And this thing is pretty big, 16 ounces of coffee. Good if you're having like a lot of people over for a party or something and everyone's starting to fall asleep. This will wake them right up. All right, so I took all the tape off of it and you can see I'm comparing it to the old one that we used to have. It's like five times as big. So you have to keep that in mind if you're low on counter space. But just taking a look at this thing, we got the uh, area where you could insert the Keurig pods and then you push one of these buttons. I'll figure that out in a second. Here's where you want to put the uh, ground coffee with the filter. And then the, here's where it goes into, it goes, the, the coffee will fill up in here. And this is in case it like overflows, I guess. You could clean that out. And then let's have a look at the back. Let's go around this way. There's the plug. Here's where you, oops, I left some tape on here. I don't want tape in my first cup of coffee. Here's a little piece I forgot to take off. But here's where you insert, this is the reservoir for the water. So you can see it's huge. Um, and you can just fill it up with water and uh, you'll be all set to make some nice fresh coffee. Let's see how it looks on the counter. I got it tucked in in the corner there between the refrigerator and the stove here. And uh, it's a pretty good fit. There's the, it's plugged in right there behind it. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, try to make some coffee. I think I'm gonna try the K-Pod first and see how that looks. Here's a K-Pod. This is the McDonald's premium roast. A lot of people sleep on McDonald's coffee. I think it's actually delicious coffee. Uh, it's one of my favorites, this and Dunkin' Donuts. So let's go ahead and put that in and then close it down. And you'll hear it kind of puncture the top. You'll see there's a hole now so that it can uh, filter the water through. But I'm gonna fill it up with water now. I'm that guy that doesn't read the instructions, so I'm just gonna hope that I'm doing it right. Let's go ahead and uh, pour the, coffee, the water back here. Wow, look how little that is compared to how big that reservoir is. Put the top on. And uh, let's go ahead and hit, uh, let's go with, what do we do? So we're going to do the pod, see how it light, lights up. Oh, add water, descale. I don't know what that means. I should read the directions. Okay, I read the instructions, and I think I need to fill this reservoir up with water first. So let's go ahead and take that whole thing off and fill it with water and maybe actually clean it. That might be a good idea, right? All right, I cleaned it, and I filled it to about nine cups of coffee. Now let's put the top on. Turn it around, and now let's see if it works. We got the K-Pod button. Oh good, the, what, the thing's not blinking anymore, and these are blinking on, so that's good. So I think this is probably about a 12 ounce cup, but I'm not sure, and I don't want it to overflow, so I'm gonna hit 10. And I can hear it's actually working right now. I'm just gonna move it to the spot where I hope it stays until I have to refill the water again. And uh, let's wait a few minutes and see what happens. All right, here in the background, it's starting to brew, but I want to show you some of these pods I got. So here's an organic, extra bold coffee. Here's a huge thing of Dunkin' Donuts, which we already opened. Here's organic Colombian single-serve coffee pods, which we got at Harris Teeter. Here's a coffee lover's collection, which comes with Donut Shop, Caribou, McCafe, and Nantucket blend of Green Mountain. And look, it's starting to brew the first cup of coffee of this machine. I love that sound. You see the heat coming off of it, which means it's nice and hot as it fills up that cup with that beautiful brown coffee that I can't wait to drink because I'm, I haven't had any all day and it's like uh, 10 o'clock. I can use some coffee. And I guess I did want to go with the 12 ounces because you'll see the 10 ounces just didn't cut it for me, but it will probably be stronger. So I can just add a little water to it and mix it in. And the reservoir you'll see went down from like nine where it was before down to about five. 
And what I like to do is after I make the coffee, I take this out and recycle it because that way it'll be easier in the next day to, uh, to not have to worry about doing this part. So I'm pretty sure my county will recycle these because they're plastic, but I guess it differs by county and region where you're located. But I'm just gonna go ahead and throw those in the recycling bin. And I'm not gonna test this part out yet because I don't wanna have all this extra coffee that I'm not gonna drink. But when it's time to have a get together or something, a lot of people are thirsty, we'll uh, figure this one out. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's good. I needed that, hit the spot. Um, Keurig coffee maker, pretty sweet. All right, thanks for watching and have a great day.